is Ice House Canyon Trail, the start of Cucamonga Peak. Okay. Good morning everybody. Today is September 22, 2019, 6.30 in the morning. Today we are at Rancho Cucamonga and we are going to hike the Cucamonga Peak. That is 11.6 miles round trip, 4,300 feet elevation gain. And right now we are at Ice House Canyon Parking. So the hike is a little bit strenuous. We'll see how the trail goes. Catch you later. For your information, you guys need to fill up a permit to hike the trail. It's free. It's by the entrance. You just have to fill it up and take the yellow copy with you. So we're going to the trail. The trail is very rocky, so appropriate hiking shoes is a must. And hiking pole. As you can see, as if like we are in Chantry Flats in Mount Wilson, there's a lot of cabins around here. Also the trail has steps. It's really steep, but it's not too bad. come here make sure you get here early I got here at 6 20 in the morning and the parking is almost full and don't forget the wilderness pass the parking you can buy those at big five for five dollars or else you're gonna get sighted so the first part of the trail is very rocky uh, as if you are like uh, climbing through the stairs and there's still uh, significant elevation gain we started at 5500 feet and the goal is to reach 8839 feet to the summit of Cucamonga so at 7 o'clock this is what the trail looks like pretty We're climbing nice, slow, and steady. We will get there. Mile two. We are two miles and a half in. Uh, we're doing really good. The trail gets really steep. You're mostly on the switchbacks, uh, loose gravels. It's not too bad. See? Just keep going. Slow, nice, and steady. We are at the junction going to a south saddle, 0.6 miles. We are three miles in, two and a half more to go. Mile three. We are now at mile three. Uh, right now it's eight o'clock in the morning. So we are in good uh, pace, 30 minutes per mile. But the elevation gain is huge. It's about a thousand feet per mile. Really steep climbs. It's not too bad because it's only at 7,000 feet. And you're above 10,000 feet, it's a different story. But this is what the trail looks like at 8 o'clock in the morning. You can see there, right there, it's covered by the tree. That's uh, Mount San Antonio at Mount Baldi. I did that a year ago. We are almost 8,000 feet. The environment here is different now. There's more uh, bushes, more thicker trees. 
and the sun is coming up keep going just have to keep going yeah 2.4 miles you guys the view here is amazing of the Inland Empire San Bernardino County There's two miles left. The trail here really gets flat. Uh, actually, good. Can't be more thankful enough to be here in the morning. Wow, there's a lot of steep drops around here. Definitely pay attention in what you're doing. Gotta keep moving. The trail here gets really pretty. That's the trail. Start of the ascent again. Right there, Cucamonga Peak. We're very close. Look, you guys. Wow. I believe that's LA on the west side. Okay, you guys, we are one and a half mile left. This is the final stretch to the peak. I heard it's gonna be really tough, but we will see. So far, so good. Here's the last section. Steep, rocky, and brutal. This road should be tackled with some level of fitness because it's so steep, rocky, but the views are amazing. It's like climbing stairs with loose rocks. Empire. Trails really steep. Damn, there's a kid hiking. Go ahead, guy. Okay. Freaking four year old kid and six year old kid climbed the Cucamonga Peak. Wow! You will see a lot of eye engraved to these trees. That means you're in the correct trail. We are at the final stretch. 0.4 miles left to the summit of Cucamonga Peak. This is it. Trail is Difficult, but it's not that bad. I actually like it. This is it, you guys. No more stopping. We made it to Cucamonga Peak. Five out of six Taco Peaks in Southern California. Cucamonga Peak. Cucamonga Peak. Thank you. You're supposed to jump. Yeah. No. Uh, I wish. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I can't. <laughs> I have one more to go. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, still recording. Thank you.
Heading back down the parking lot. So right now it's 10.45 in the morning. So I submitted at 10 o'clock. I stayed uh, 45 minutes for the pictures, videos, and uh, breakfast. Now I'm heading back. So we'll see when we get there. So far, I love this trail. It's very shady. Some exposed part, it's mostly shady because we are still under the tree line. That's Mount Baldi right there in the middle. Right there. So, tip for you guys. If you're gonna do a hike like this, give yourself a treat. Aha, sneakers bar. Good for the trail. It will give you a burst of energy. So you gotta keep eating while you're walking so you won't get burned out and drinking water very very important drink water with electrolytes next to the creek we're almost uh, back to the parking lot Even though it's the end of summer, there's still a lot of water in the stream. We had a really good winter this uh, 2019. You guys hear that? That's the sound of nature. There's a creek uh, next to me. And it's very relaxing. So if you guys are up to the challenge, try Cucamonga Peak you won't be disappointed okay okay guys we're almost done we are one mile left uh, to the start of the trailhead so far this hike is really beautiful under the shade most of the time but when you get up there are some exposed area uh, I suggest coming in the morning because once you hit the afternoon it gets really really hot so cold weather will make you stronger uh, if you go if you're going up definitely wear a good uh, trail running shoes or hiking shoes because this uh, trail is really sandy rocky and there's a lot of loose gravels so hope you guys uh, enjoy this mini hike well, not really mini hike, but it's a big hike. It's one uh, one of the six pack of peaks. This is my fifth uh, peak. Next week, we will tackle, we will summit, we will conquer San Gorgonio Peak. All right, see you guys in our next adventure. Peace out. Made it. We made it to the start of the trailhead. It took us 2 hours and 15 minutes. Right now it's flat uh, 1 o'clock in the afternoon. So thank you guys for watching. See you in the next adventure.